Well, Lembid, I absolutely hear what you're saying. But Lisa Mason, the theme of my big opinion monologue is that for two years, journalists, TV presenters, radio hosts in the main have not looked out for the real world impacts of these COVID measures, lockdowns, mask mandates, vaccine mandates. And they're not focusing on what my viewers are going through right now when it comes to the economy. They're still indulging in this tittle tattle around Westminster. I just, I've always been told that, you know, when there's a big story out there, try and find the story that they're trying to cover up. Um, I don't think we're really ever going to know the truth of why this big lockdown happened and the extremes that this went to. Um, I just, I, mm. most of the stuff in the headlines are, are a bunch of nonsense. But and why, why, Lisa, why have the government become, uh, the, I should say the media become the mouthpiece of the government for two years? I mean, I don't know why the government paid for advertising in newspapers and on TV networks, given that the hosts themselves were selling COVID hysteria. So it's all down to money. It's all about, you know, lining their back pockets, I believe, anyway. Mm. I mean, briefly, Lisa, why do you think that so many people are fed up with mainstream media? I think because we are becoming a more woke society, if you will. I think... Um, there are so many people, especially, you know, you've got people like the BBC um, that kind of make you keep your mouth shut. No one can really speak their truth or be honest because they're like, oh, no, you can't say that. So I think, you know, people are coming more to, you know, GB News as such, because, you know, we talk about things that people want to speak about. They, they hear things that you're not going to hear on BBC. You know, we are seeing things and we, we call it how we see it. And I think that a lot of the other, you know, outlets are not doing that. They're, they're watering it down. Can I just have one very short thing, Mark? Where you criticise the BBC, I think you're absolutely right. I used to work for the BBC. You've been there. Mm. The problem here is the BBC, Sky, all of these people unquestionably and unquestioningly accepted the narrative that you disagree with and you always disagreed with. And I might be wrong, but we've only had one narrative. Yeah, we've not been allowed to question it because you're pariahed if you disagree.